Hey guys, welcome back to Discover Games. Today we are doing our next part, part six of our Judgment playthrough. And so we're gonna be starting chapter two today. I hope you all are doing well today and I'm super excited to get into it. So let's continue the save. And I know there's gonna be an opening cinematic that usually is for the next chapter. So I'm excited to see where the next part of the story is gonna go. We just got Hamura off the hook. And so let's see. Oh, we're gonna do a little recap. The year is 2018. Kamurocho is playing host to Kansai-based Yakuza, who've been turning up dead with their eyes gouged out. Not good. Not good. Lawyer-turned-detective Takayuki Yagami took on the case, proving the suspect's alibi. But he can't shake the feeling that the true culprit is out there. He gives this anonymous killer a name. Yagami calls him the Mole. Could be a better nickname, not gonna lie. Three bodies Pretty. have turned up in Kamrocho. Each of them missing both eyes. Everyone a Kyori man. Kumi is the most recent. And the guy who killed them all was your mole, huh? Yep. Got Kumi hand delivered to him by Hamura. So he suspects. In other words, Hamura was in cooperation with the mole. He must have been involved in all three cases. Or well, he might have, yeah. Might have is better. I think it's still a little bit of a stretch, but who's to say? But Hamura kept that hidden and ended up getting off scot-free. In turn, making us look like fools. I'm not about to let him get away with this. Agreed. We gotta go all out if we want to win. Too bad the pay sucks. Don't hate, man. I don't get it. Why would the captain want to protect the mole anyways? He could have gotten life in the slammer if things went south. Hard to say with what we know now. First things first, we need to figure out who the mole is. That's why we're here, remember? The mole's first victim was found right in this very alley. Mm-hmm. Happened back in August. Kenkichi Mashiba, a Kyore guy, 27. Pretty small time. Even lower rank than Kume. Body got reported in the morning. Eyes gouged clean out of his skull. So the course was found pretty much the same way as Kume, yeah. This is kind of stuff we already know. That's why I'm not really saying much. This is, this is very much a recap. Where exactly did they find him? What sort of position was he in? Not sure. Cops don't really publish those kinds of details. Well, guess we'll have to do one better then. Hold up a sec. The cops already did their whole song and dance searching for the mole. But they couldn't turn up a damn thing. Well, the Why cops have been, been very trustworthy. Uh, don't worry about it. We can do it. We can... We have to do it. Shut up. You're making me doubt myself. We can do it. Don't worry. Don't worry. We got this. Oh, it's that easy, huh? Mm -hmm. If anyone's going to know about the mole, it's Hamura. And who has better access to him than anyone else? We do. Right? For now. Yes, you got a point. We'll need to get our hands on some more info first, though. The quickest way to find the truth is through good old-fashioned legwork. <laughs> I can do old-fashioned. Let's work out Anyways, our legs some. The next victim was in, uh... October. Found in an alley off Tenkaichi Street. Shall we head over? I'm actually gonna head over alone if you don't mind. Think you can get in touch with that informant in the meantime? Okay. Huh? Why I obey? If we're gonna use Kaito's connections to a dirty cop, now is the time. Yeah, I guess so, right? So the cops were the ones first on the scene. Um, they would have the information a little bit more on lockdown. So, I guess it's not a bad idea to go talk to him. Didn't you say something about him selling police info? If he's got info on the mole, we need it. Yeah. That's yep. what I was saying. I can ask. Thanks. New information was added to our case file. 
Okay, let's head to the second crime scene. So, I'm guessing right now we are trying to find the real killer, which is, you know, something I'd like to do. So, I will see you at the second crime scene. Who's this guy? Why does he have a face over him? Oh, hi, kitty. Excuse me, my name is Nekomiya, and you haven't happened to see any cute kitties wandering around mm -hmm. here, have you? You're looking for kitties out here? Okay. Do I get to find kitties? In fact, I'm the one who takes care of all the stray cats and... Rocha. However, there's a few I haven't seen lately. Oh, so he's the one who feeds them. Great. <laughs> They're gonna crap all over the place. I hope they aren't too hungry. I really do worry about them. They're street cats. They'll be fine. You think so? How do you know they're not off dying somewhere? They're street cats. They existed long before you came around. But it's just me who's concerned. But it's not just me who's concerned. The rest of the feral feline community needs to know they're safe. Hmm? You mean there's more of you? <laughs> oh, yes. You see, I run a blog about all the stray cats I find. It's got cat pictures, cat icons, cat matchmaking, cat everything. But since I can't update my subscribers about the cats that went missing, a lot of them started to panic. I see. Well, it sounds like not a big deal. It's a big deal to me. That's why I've come searching high and low for them. Yet, for some reason, they've run away at full speed whenever they come see me. Oh, they see me coming. I wonder why. It's like, the more I offer my love, the faster they run away. Why? Why won't my feelings get through to them? There's a cat right there. Less cats means less cat poop. I say good riddance. <laughs> well, cats tend to be pretty fickle, you know. <laughs> this is... Mind my, my French. This is fucking dumb. Huh? I have cats in my uh, my office. Will you help me find my missing kitties? Huh? Oh my goodness, gravy. Oh, I, I'll take some cash. Let the search begin. Oh, no. What have I gotten myself into? I do not know. But... Yeah, what kind of cat should I be looking for? Start off with Calico. He's a bit of a scaredy cat. I doubt he's gone. He hasn't gone too far. Huh. Yeah, what a nuisance is right. Huh. Do I get to just search for them? Is this the one? Let me pull out my camera. Oh, this is a tabby cat. Hi. Are you cute? Oh, I get to have filters? I like Seppi. Oh, I didn't. I hit the back button. That's... Let's try that again. Hey. Pss, 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 pss. Hello. Come looking at me again. Are you, are you, are you serious, buddy? Go fuck yourself. There we go. Is this it? Probably not. Have you found the calico yet? No. Yeah. Oh, I did find one. Okay. At least it wasn't in vain. Alright, back to the crime scene, because this is not going to help me. I'll find the cats eventually. So here we are. Let's investigate this crime scene. Tekanashi Alley. Tekanishi Alley. This is where the mole's second victim was found. If I recall, the body was found in the garbage dump. So around here. Okay, let's...
Let's see, here's some trash bags. This is where they took out the garbage, right? The corpse must have been lying around here. This case happened months ago, though, so I don't suppose there's any traces of the body left. I should take a little closer look. Uh, oh, there's a kitty up here. What the? Oh, look, a cat. It is a uh, calico, though. There's the garbage dump. Maybe the can? Nope. Um, hmm. Anything? Oh! There's a dumpster here. Suspicious. It's a dumpster. I think if the body had been found in here, I would have heard about it by now. Probably safe to say it wasn't in the trash. Okay. Worth a look, though. Where else? Should I look closely? I already examined that. I hear a phone. How about, were they dumped in the sewer? No. Huh. Hmm. Hey. Try to investigate the garbage dump. Whoa, what is this? An exquisite screw, huh? Yeah, totally unrelated, but there's no more signs of a murder. Doesn't seem like there's anything left to find. All right, it's good to know. There really, there's really not much I can do without the police report. So I guess that's where the dirty cops intel comes from, and we're running. Stop right there! Scene. Is he gonna land right on me? Oh no. That was funny though. Oh! I am over here. Can I stop him? Go, 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 go! You don't steal from Yagami. Wait, wrong guy. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, I I did though. I did. Okay. Well, let me go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I guess I didn't do it the right way. Again, I I did it. Okay. Let's get the master. Man. I know I'm not the best at these, but I did it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh. That was cool. Let's jump over that. I can get him. Oh, okay. Get away from the cones. Let's get away from the people. I had to hit that twice. So. Oh, he's over there. Oh, we're going in an alley. He's right there. Come on. Come on. Hold up. I'm a faster runner than him. Come on. Go. Is he gonna lead me to his hideout? I hope so. Oh, chase complete. Okay. That was kind of a weird camera angle, but. I'm faster than the cops, bro. Matrix. Do I have to do a button press? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh! You gonna make it? You gonna make it? Oh yeah, you are. You're Yagami. Did you save me, really? 
You're not getting any thanks for that. Here, you earned this back. You, I own it. <laughs> Look, it wasn't a perfect plan, but it worked out in the end, didn't it? So thanks. Is that what you call that? And I don't want your thanks, asshole. <laughs> okay. See ya. No, 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 no. I wonder who you are. No, no, don't leave like that. Uh, -uh. I don't accept that. And that's the Camarocho burglary ring. No wonder the cops can't catch him. Yeah, you couldn't even. And I'm Yagami. We got cut off. <laughs> but you all good? It's just, it's funny. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I got in touch with Ayabe. Okay. He's scraping up what he can on the mole thing. Just sit tight till we hear back. Cool? Oh, I was sitting tight all right. Phew, I'm exhausted. Maybe I should go check in on again the sensei. It's been a while since I've spoken with him. That's the guy at the law office, right? So I guess I will see you when we get there. Still love being a firefighter. Okay. So let's go to our sensei. Oh. No. Excuse me. I don't mean to scare you, but I need help bad. Ooh. He looks like it. What's the matter? Are you hurt? My stomach gets killing me all of a sudden. Ooh, is that a trap? Should I call an ambulance? No, don't do that. I don't have that kind of money. Please, just go get Morobobashi's sensei? Moroboshi. Moroboshi, maybe? Is he some kind of doctor? Yeah. He should be underground in the sewers. You can get there through the manhole cover in the children's park. He'll understand if you tell him... Kondo is asking for him. Please hurry. Okay. I would have talked to me. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay, we got that storyline now, so let's go there, so this guy doesn't absolutely shit himself. Alright, see you there. Yeah, that was me. Anyway, see you there. Are these guys just gonna follow me this whole way? Okay. Bye-bye. Ah, oh! Wow, okay. Hold on, let me grab something. That'd, that'd be a fair fight. There you go. Hey, buddy. Bye-bye. And hey, buddy. Bye-bye. Good. Yeah, thank you for the claps. Damn. Alright, stop distracting me. I just want to get to the missions. I'm not going to hit you. I should, though. There's tons of, like, friendship quests all around. Which I'm definitely gonna start doing a little bit more of. Oh, I just have to go in the sewer? So the underground doctor. Hmm. This isn't sketchy at all. He looks exactly like the guy who's hurt. Okay. I gotta run, right? Hey, hey, buddy. Excuse me. Are you? Mm -hmm. I am. This is Yagami. This is Yagami. Does it ring a bell? So, what do you want? Hmm. What am I supposed to tell this guy again? <laughs> Your homeboy is calling for you. Um. His condo is calling for you. Homeless guy goes by Kondo. You know him? He was asking for your help just now. <laughs> what? Kondo-san was? 
Yeah. He said his stomach was killing him. Where is he? Public Park 3. That was... I wish someone would come to my beck and call like that. Damn. <laughs> Whoa, you made it. Thanks a million, Doc. You too, my guy. Did you eat something strange again? Oh, no. Uh, let me think. Well, I did some dumpster diving at Pink Street yesterday. I knew something tasted fishy. For crying out loud. Oops. Looks like Kondo san's doing it again. Done it again. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, was it? Yes. Sorry for your trouble. This guy's always eating trash and messing up his stomach. I don't. I Excuse don't know me. how to feel about this side quest, but it's funny. No worries, but I've got to ask. Are you an actual doctor? Mm. Yeah. At least I was. But that's all in the past. Morobo... Morobo... He used to be a doctor at a huge medical university. <laughs> but that's been down in the dump since he's lost his chance to become a professor. So he started helping us out ah. instead. You talk too much. <laughs> oh. Ah, I'll take a medkit. I'm always needing it. Trust me. You can now be treated. Okay. I can go to him when I'm yes. ailing instead of using my weapons. Or my weapon. My items. Well, these side quests are quite odd. So, now let's get back to what I was doing. Oh, you guys. I hate. I wanted to grab you, bro. Let me grab you. Okay, there you go. There you go. Bye bye. Really, guys? At least the street thugs get easier. Alright. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your applause. <laughs> but then you think I'm gonna hit you. Okay. The theater. I hope we get to go in there one day. That does look like a cool building. Alright, here we are. Let's go inside. Aha. Uh -huh. Am I interrupting a conversation? Oh, dragged in. Afternoon. Did I keep you waiting or something? No. We were just talking about you, actually. Ah. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Of course. Especially if you've got a job for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're always so eager to work. A great fighter, too. You know it. Do you ever take lessons? I did back when I was a kid, yeah. The rest has been more of a learn-by-doing thing. I like to think of it as Kamurocho style. Because you trained yourself on the streets? Man, what a life. I bet you've got some crazy oh, stories. Oh, yeah. Um, Yagami-san. What's up? Actually, I do have some work for you. Yeah? What kind? Here, take a look at what I've got. Okay. Okay. Infidelity investigation. My name is Noriku Taguchi. Noriku? I'm terrible at these names. I'm never going to try to... <laughs> I'm going to try to get them, but I'm never going to know them. My husband has started going out frequently recently, and I want to know where he's going. It's hard to imagine that he's cheating on me, but could you investigate? Thank you. Pays 80000 Sure. Yeah, I'll accept this case. So. I'll send the details to your office. Thank you. Put them up on your board or something. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks, Sari-san. Okay. Thank you. Now let's do a turnaround, please. Thank you. Yagami, you still sniffing around that Kume case? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never told Kente-sensei I'm still looking for the mole. Yeah. That's not a problem, is it? Not a problem, per se. But the case is closed. I can't keep paying you to investigate. Fine by me. It's a personal matter now. Even so... You're convinced Tamara's covering for the killer, right? Yeah. You know he'll be none too happy if he finds out you're still on the case. He brought this on himself, if you ask me. Mm. Speaking of, have you seen him since the trial? No, but he and Shintani keep in touch. They're practically drinking buddies these days. 
Oh. Really? Come on in, Hattori-san. Small, but it's home. Oh, I know all about this place. Right, Yagami-san? Uh. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Shintani had an interview today. Shintani and Hattori. Two of my favorite people in the world. I could imagine. Just pretend Yagami isn't here, yeah? Wouldn't want your readers thinking he had a hand in getting Hamura's acquittal. Oh, don't worry about that, Shintani-sensei. That courtroom was yours. And yours alone. I should go. Looks like I'm the third wheel here. Of course. Without a photo, Yagami-san? For as much as you did on the case? Nah, I want to punch you. Let me just get one of you in Shintani-sensei, huh? Tea, sir? Ooh. What a treat. That would be great, Shirosaki-sensei. I don't know. I feel like she's going to be important a l in a little bit. Because she keeps popping up. Just, just ever so slightly. But I'm fine with that. What was he doing there? He could be involved in it. Who knows? Anyway, I need to get back to that client. In my office. I'm too scared to go in an arcade. Is there anything in here? Yeah, there's a, um, a friend quest. Why not? I want to investigate the city a little bit more. Maybe instead of just rushing through all the quests to do stuff, you know? Alright, so the food's in here. Ah. Oh, I did not. Hmm? Translator. What's she talking Excuse about? Excuse me. Everything okay? No, it isn't. I don't understand a word this guy is saying. Please help a girl out. Pardon me, do you happen to know where the lavatory is? Hmm. I've always been good at basic English. I should take over from here. Hey, all he wants to know is where the restroom is. In English, that would be... Right outside the cafe. You can't miss it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's... That's easy. That went pretty well. I hope I wasn't too rusty. I'm sorry about that, sir. That other word really caught me off guard. I always thought it was just toilet in English. Well, at least you know your basics. Sometimes it's hard to determine the best word to say. Yeah, I do like the language, but I haven't studied it for long. What? Gotcha. You're a student right now. Yeah, I'm actually in college. I've been thinking about working overseas for a while too, once I graduate anyway. So I've decided to start working here to get some more speaking practice. You know, since hotels generally have a lot of foreign customers. That's not a bad idea. Well, keep it up. Maybe English will improve. Yes, thank you for today's lesson. Oh, can I ask for your name? It's me. Sure. It's me. <laughs> Yagami. I am Sanada. Really nice to meet you. Okay. I did a friend event. Look at me. Likewise. I'll keep at it. I will. Hope I will see you next time. Okay. I like that. Wait, can I, I can talk to you, right? And I can get something. I don't have much money. What's something cheap? Some toast? I'll buy some toast. Why not? Yeah. stuff back to it so i just ate some toast oh i gave my health a little bit of course so i ate some toast and i got a quest maybe for that or I was just acknowledging that i ate some toast get around this pole all right now i gotta go back to my detective office that was a fun little side venture all right let's go i will see you guys there okay here we are. I assume now we're gonna have that, um, that basically just a following her husband case. Oh, hello. Excuse me. I wasn't ready for that. Hello, are you about the job, ma'am? Yes. You came highly recommended by getting the sensei. 
I'm Yakami. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Here, I'll get the door. Yeah, I was helping someone translate. I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm a private investigator. You wanted me to investigate if your husband is cheating on you, yes? Yes, I'm afraid that's right. I can't shake that feeling that he might be, but I need someone to find out for sure. The darkest place. Very well. Can you tell me the whole story? Yes. You see, my husband and I own a cafe called Heavy Coffee. We've managed it together ever since it opened, in fact. My husband's a good man, but he's always kept to himself. We've been married 40 years, and I can hardly remember any real fights, let alone infidelity. Sounds like you two have a great marriage. I would usually agree, but lately he's been leaving the cafe early. I mean, there's always been slow days where he'd leave to hit the pachinko, the pachinko slots or go see a movie. <laughs> But lately, this has become an almost everyday occurrence. But what leads you to believe he's cheating on you? Perhaps he's simply found a new hobby, for instance. That's fairly common at your age, isn't it? Yes, I thought that might be the case at first, too. But one day, I stopped in at the Patinko Parlor, and he said he'd been at, and I didn't see him anywhere. Hmm, and you're sure that you were at the right place? The city has quite a few Pachinko Parlors. If it had only been there, if it had only been once, I might not have been so sure. But I assure you, I've been thorough. I've checked in several times now. I've even, f and I've never found him there once. I see. Sounds like you've done your homework then. Sorry for giving you the third degree there. Yagami-san. I'd like you to investigate where my husband goes when he leaves the shop. And if he's been cheating, can you tell me who he's meeting? You really want the gory details? Yes. I want to know what kind of woman he's been cheating on me with. I can do that, but I'd have to say, sometimes you're better off not knowing. You're sure? Yes, I'm sure. I put 80,000 yen on my request. Is that sufficient? Of course. I'll take that case. Thank you. Like I said, he leaves the cafe early almost every day now. He's even told me he's been wanting to see a new movie that just came out. Alright. That should make it simple enough to tell him when he leaves. Please do. The lady shop is called Heavy Coffee, and it's on Taihe Boulevard. Guess I'll check it out. Okay. Simple enough. Hi, kitties. How are you doing? I think I will end this episode here. This is going to be a short one, but we got some stuff done. Thank you guys for watching this part. Oh, okay now. Thank you for watching this episode of Judgment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.